it's Jeff Greenberg, and I want to cover something so important to me, at least all the time, which is how to check my max memory usage. It can be found in the Finder under Utilities. Now I'll go ahead and bring up Utilities folder, and I'm just going to double click Activity Monitor and launch it. Now, Activity Monitor shows all the things that are going on actively on your Mac. And it's changing as I'm sitting here because different items have different priorities as CPU. I'm right now monitoring the CPU across my entire system. I'm going to go to memory and take a look at how much RAM is going on, how much RAM is being used by different software on my Mac. For example, here you'll see that Google Chrome has a bunch of entries. I'm going to quit Chrome in a second. You can see I've got TweetDeck running. These things are all eating up my RAM, my up to 32 gigs of physical memory on my system. Let's go ahead and let's quit Chrome. In fact, I'm going to quit a bunch of these apps. And as I quit apps, I get more of my RAM back, more of my memory happens to be free. We can just as equally sort this, by the way, by, say, which one's using most of my CPU, such as my screen recording software. And this is all just based on my user here, sorting again by memory. I'd like you to see, we can look at all processes, everything that's being used on this computer, including ones that are the user is the Windows server. That's the actual Macintosh, that, and say, root. Here at the bottom is the most important part of the activity monitor. And it's a sign here with memory pressure. And generally speaking, if it's green, you're good. If it's yellow, your Mac is working hard. And if it's red, it may be time to have more RAM. Right here at the bottom is the word swap used. When my Mac has different applications running, certain things get swapped out of live RAM to my hard drive or my SSD, and it's the SSD that's so important here. And this happens pretty quickly for it to swap in and out of the SSD. The reason that the old MacBook Air with only four gigabytes worked was because it would swap things in and out of its SSD very quickly. Speaking about the swap space, you always need to leave at least twice the amount of physical memory on your system free optimally for your system to work well. So I have 32 gigs of RAM. I'd like to make sure I've keep 64 gigs free on my SSD. Now I'm going to decode some of this quickly. The app memory is the actual amount taken up by apps and processes. The wired memory is reserved by apps and cannot be freed up. And the compressed is inactive and can be used by other apps. You'll notice that the three of those together make the 16 gigabytes of memory actually used on my system. So often when I'm running very intensive work, say doing something in After Effects or something with Resolve, I'm going to keep this open and just check in on this on occasion just to see how the memory of my system is doing. If I'm in yellow, certainly if I'm in red, I'm going to be quitting all sorts of other apps to prioritize those tasks that I need to give all the memory to. If I ever notice my swap space is over a quarter or so of my RAM, I know my Mac is working really hard in its memory processes. I might consider quitting everything but the one application that's important for the given work I'm doing. Rebooting will reset the swap space back to zero and free up that space on my SSD. So that's a little bit about how to check your Mac's memory usage. Again, I'm Jeff Greenberg, film geek on all your favorite social networks. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them into the comments. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful.